Tom is the tank engine. One morning, Tom is drawing on his plant time like he normally does. On the way, he met Percy. You know, said Percy, that the main line wasn't so busy, the engines wouldn't have to get their own coaches. I agree, said Thomas. I'm glad you agree, said Percy. Manager said, let's get a new engine so the main line won't be way too busy, if you know what I mean. There's still one more thing, said Percy, as the two engines puffed off to the end of the line. Manager told me who the engine is. His name is Michael. He might be coming up at any moment right now. Here he comes right now. I hope he's not too bad, said Thomas, hopefully. Are you talking about me? hissed the new engine. I'm a double tenor engine, and I'm looking for another one of those. Speak up, you two. Thomas and Percy told Michael what to do with passengers and coaches. I know my way about. I don't need stupid tank engine idiots to tell me what to do. Thomas and Percy felt hurt. Michael banged around the yard. Then he puffed crossly to the station. Gordon's already there waiting for him. You're late, he snapped. I know, said Michael. It's those tank engine idiots' fault. Percy tried to tell, tell me how to handle passengers and coaches. And then, and then they, they tried to teach me he to find my own coaches. You poor engine, said Gordon. I know all of them. They can be a little cheeky and annoying sometimes. I wish I could send them packing. Michael was filled with joy. But Gordon didn't know that Michael was in a bad mood because he was the one and only double tender engine, engine on Sodor. Hang on, we're gonna go faster and faster, Michael said to the passengers. Hang on, furious. Careful, Michael, said his driver. Don't go so fast. Soon they were near the station. Michael was pleased. Nothing went wrong, nothing went wrong, silly tank engines. Watch on the line even faster. Steady, Michael, said his driver. But... Bust my buffers, cried Michael. I'm out of water and coal. And he was. Then, said Thomas. But all he did was call us idiots. The annoyed blue tank engine refused to move. I'm ashamed of you, Thomas, said Percy. Think of the passengers. What are they going to do? Oh, I've forgotten all about that. Yes, of course. We need to help the passengers. And Thomas puffedly away. Michael stayed there sad lonely. He could not. Oh, dear, he said sadly. Everyone will know how silly I am. Passengers had to get out and help carry buckets of coal and water and empty them in those tenders. They weren't very pleased about that, but worked as fast as and hard. They finally filled Michael's tenders with water and coal at last. And after that, Michael's bad mood turned into a good one. He was extra careful all day long.
That evening, Michael came to see Thomas. Thomas, he said, thank you for helping. I'm sorry I was rude to you. I was in a bad mood. That's okay, Michael. I wish all tank engines were like you. Friends. No problem, said Thomas. We'll start our friendship first thing tomorrow.